Virgo, what are your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and the actions they will take towards you? Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. Let's jump into this reading, Virgo. Seven of Swords energy. Sneaky Pete energy. Somebody who might be spying on you so that they can have a reconciliation. Somebody who wants passion with you. Somebody, this may be a person who's ghosted you or you've ghosted them. There's something fishy. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay, Virgo. So right now in the circumstances, their thoughts. Looks as though they didn't want to hear some sort of truth. Maybe you've told them something that has hurt their feelings, broken their heart. Look at this. Whoa, that is a lot of swords energy. Virgo, Virgo king of swords energy so your person's thoughts are that either you're not listening to them or they're not listening to you but i their thoughts are that they don't want to hear what you have to say whatever it is that you said to them has hurt them and they are trying to heal from it and they are trying to be very logical with this king of swords energy about what to do about it king of swords energy is very beautiful it's aquarius so we have um we have two of swords is libra three of swords is libra and libra and now we have aquarius so trying to find their balance trying to use their intellect trying to be detached and trying to tap into their the thoughts that are going to balance out the relationship this person's very benign they really do clearly cl they really clearly like you care about you because there's this very benevolent energy almost like a doctor do little like they have to heal something in the relationship they have to also cut something out with all these swords okay there's some behavior that they're involving themselves in that they need to cut out because in the meantime you're suffering from it that's what they think about you their feelings about you they are excited by you they are engaged with you they feel like you're just off the chart sexy passion all the red is about passion your person you know is burning the candle for you they think about you frequently whenever they think about their love life or their physical passion they think of you the energy here is beautiful energy this is in their heart space this person has a big coin for you legacy relationship going a long distance in the relationship making it really something it really looks as though this person's dedicated to you it looks as though this person feels in their heart space that you're you're the one the two of you could work as a team that you're there this person's very loyal to you they find you to be a very big happy part of their life with all the yellow the lover's card again very much now this is a soulmate card this isn't just about passion though there's a lot of physical passion this person is in love with you they feel like you are the person that they want to gaze there they want to gaze into your eyes every night Again, very, very reliable energy with Virgo, Gemini, and Fire Sign Aries. Your person has very intense feelings for you. They feel as though they come up short with you, though. When we get the Page of Pentacles in their heart space, they they feel as though they're making an offer that is very easy for them to make. You know, adults can do what children do easily, right? Quote, unquote. So we see this energy that this person is really offering you page level energy and in their heart space they want to be reliable they don't want to jump ahead too quickly they don't want to over promise and under deliver but they are headed their feelings are very much geared to longevity with you let's see what their intentions are to be very romantic with you to get to know you, they like knowing something about you because there's something about you that makes them look at things from a different perspective. The energy of the hanged man is that, you know, when they what they intend with you is something that gives them a different view of life. So they intend to be romantic, but they're thinking about this in other ways also. The two of coins says that there's something that they're undecided about. And we have the two of wands they definitely feel as though they need to make a decision soon they intend to make a decision okay what is your the actions that they will take okay 
when we look at the actions now, we're getting that this person feels as though in their heart space they love you very deeply. The way this translates into action is that this is a person, the King of Cups energy, is a person who has really weathered a lot of storms very successfully in their life. They have mastery over their emotions. So even when things are very turbulent, this is a sea captain of the perfect storm ship who actually made it out with his crew. So this person feels very much that whatever is thrown at them in terms of their actions, they can handle it. They have mastery. They love you deeply. They don't want to go anywhere. The Nine of Cups taking taking the time to celebrate life with you, to get to know you better. This is the actions are going to take is let's go have fun. Let's really understand each other at an emotional level. Cups energy is all about the emotions, about the love. The Three of Cups, here we go. We, so now we have Cancerian energy, Scorpio energy, and Piscean energy, which is a grand trine. When we look at the triplication, the spirituality, this person really honors emotions as being a driving force. They are very comfortable. They feel like you're their best friend. This is one of the cards that is needed, the Three of Cups, to create, quote unquote, an engagement and the dedication of the action to engagement. And I'm talking about a ring on your finger, not talking to you, not chatting with you. Okay, so your person wants to celebrate life. You're their wish fulfillment. They're going to come through for you. Boy, oh boy, we've got the Taurus King. You embody everything that this person desires and wants. Taurus King is all about um, accumulating wealth in life, but it's a wealth of love. It's a wealth of abundance. It's a wealth of happiness. It's a wealth of money. It's all about the security that backs up the family, that creates the abundance and security within the framework. You know, it's every emotion as far as they're concerned needs a vessel. Water needs a glass, you know, and they want to be the vessel in this relationship. They know that they've disappointed you. Right now, they're very, they're really missing you. They're lonely without you. They feel as though you might be ignoring them. So we're gonna go ahead and clarify the cards for you and see what we have in terms of what is going on here. Um, why are they feeling the Two of Swords energy? Why the Two of Swords energy? Oops. <laughs> why are they feeling the Two of Swords? They feel as though you don't want to talk to them or that whatever you're saying, whatever you're messaging them, whether you're speaking or not, your person feels very, very much um, distressed by a lack of communication. Okay, Virgo, what's going on here? Nine of coins reversed. Your person, Virgo, does that's your card. Your person, Virgo, feels as though you don't have enough time for them. They feel as though, you know, you're ignoring them because you're in pursuit of getting your pre-empress energy and you're not there yet. So your person is suspecting or thinking that you might be having some financial difficulties. What else? Uh, the King of Wands reversed. They feel as though you're not into them that much. You know, they just don't think, they don't think that you're into them. Okay, let's see what we have here. I have the Four of Coins energy here and that four of coins your person's holding on to you we have the four of swords they're trying to stay very emotionally detached they're willing to fight for you ace of cups they absolutely love you this is heart space energy on this row the feelings they feel as though you do not share their goal for the future you, they feel as though you don't want the same thing with them. You are their wish fulfillment. They probably work with you and they, they like working with you. They want to collaborate in life with you. They feel as though you'd be a good partner because you're a good workmate. It looks like the two of you have collaborated on some sort of project in the past. In terms of their intentions, 
they feel very much that they intend to make you their soulmate. They really want that with you. They're coming forward soon. The Seven of Swords says you're really, they're trying to figure out what's going on with you, Virgo. They feel as though this lack, they feel as though you might be playing games, but they don't want to think that way. They don't want to think negatively. There's a strong desire to know what's happening, and they're just hanging out here instead, dealing with the stress of the Seven of Swords energy, the, the energy that you might be playing games with them, the energy that you might have other people, that they might be in a competitive situation. They might actually know you have someone else. The Two of Coins, the Five of Swords, says that your person is not going to really put up in their intentions with you juggling them that they will make a head over heart decision if they have to, to get out of a competitive situation. Two of Wands, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth is telling them that this just may not be a fixable situation. In terms of their actions, they're not going to take any action at this time. It looks as though they feel as though you've walked away. So unless you come back, we go from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. And to, unless you make a reappearance on your own, Virgo, this person is not going to chase you. Hermit energy, Virgo energy. They're really thinking about you and they think that you've walked away. Okay, the Three of Swords, heartbreak. They feel as though you have another person. We've got lots of energy here that says that you might be juggling two, three of swords, you know, three of swords, three of swords, that they just might not have the other, the opportunity to really have what they want with you. And the five of wands, competition, third party, maybe, third party, maybe. Remembering third parties can be people, uh, can be marriage partners. It can be anything, but it can be jobs. It can be taking care of family members it can be having two jobs but with the two of coins with the combination of cards that i'm seeing i definitely think this is a person and your person's very aware that you have someone else around that you have loyalty to that you have companionship with yeah the devil energy they are very obsessed with having this with you it feels very uncomfortable for them um they sometimes they try to manipulate the situation i do see them you know, trying to get your attention. They do have a lot of strength in this conviction that you're their one. This person really will take actions to continue to at least occasionally put themselves out there for you. But basically, they're going to stand still and see what you're going to do if you're going to come to them. If you're going to come to them with anything that talks about their future, manifesting something with them, they're going to take their chances at the roulette wheel of life, the um, the wheel, you know, the wheel of fortune, so to speak. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. That is your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today, Cindy. You love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.